All right, let's focus on recovery. Uh, I valved off the uh, evaporator. I don't want liquid going up there if it's a lower pressure. Anywho, here's the uh, here's the sight glass. If I dial this down, I should. As you can see, it's full of liquid. And now it starts to empty out. So I'm going to keep it open. So I've got liquid. i got liquid dumping into the tank here. Okay, it's my 1,000 pounder. I started at... Uh, what did I start at? 371. 371 at uh, 1140. So in 7 minutes... Well, do the math. I'm going to turn the flash off. Anyway, so what I'm doing then is I've got the vapor side open and I'm pulling vapor into my RefTech light evac. It's high pressure. It's badass. And uh, as you can see, I'm coming in here. I don't know. I've got about uh, 15 psi. This charge is around, uh, we'll call it uh, 50. Yeah, somewhere, probably 50. I've got the fan turned off. And then, I guess I'll turn the light on for this. I've got my heat exchanger that I need. I've got the discharge gas going in on this side. Going through the core, it's coming out a nice liquid here. Going into the liquid side here. It shouldn't be much. Uh, it'll fill slowly. But more importantly, this heat exchanger is keeping everything cold. Now look what I've done there. I put bulkhead fittings. So I got supply water on the bottom coming from the faucet. And then off the top here I'm just draining so that water stays cold. So set the clock. This is my setup. It's a thousand pounds or more in this system. And we'll see how long it takes to recover. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.